humans and welcome back to life is strange before the storm we uh had an incident last time sean prescott with uh with damon merrick What's and a knife and rachel's about? brachial artery and apparently scrooge is mcdick is for real writing to the hospital administrator hofstadter uh, i don't even remember what he sounded like it was less it was not so bassy it was uh, uh, it's like up in the uh, uh, one of your current patients is Michael North. Mm, no, it's more uh, uh, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover his medical expenses. Oh, well shit. I guess he's not a, a complete asshole. All right, then. Thank you. Hey, don't mean to interrupt Hi. your call. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm a Chloe. I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? That's right. Yeah. How are you? How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Yeah. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. That's good. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. Cool. That's, that's awesome. Good for Drew. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. Oh, has he? I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Mm. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you uh, know if anything's going on with them? Yeah, Drew's selling Oxy. <laughs> you should probably ask Drew. I, uh, don't really know any details. I hate to rat him out, but like... I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's see how they're doing. Sorry to grass on you to your dad, but uh, I feel like selling Oxy is probably not the best uh, best way of dealing with that. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Yeah, I did. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. Hey, how's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. No. Oh. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. Thanks. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Yeah, it's not worth Why? joking about. What happened? Rachel was... Stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Yeah. Shit. You serious? Yeah. Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No, we got our own shit that we're dealing with. Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's... Crazy. The whole yeah. thing makes me want to just. I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna. What? Get stabbed what are you in the arm? When you meet Damon Merrick. Something terrible. Uh huh. I am. Yeah. Like. <laughs> 
challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. <laughs> Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. <laughs> oh, Steph, we're just playing. Come on. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Yeah, but like, look at not that. Just yet. Well's being nice for a change. Michael, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injury. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. Yeah, no shit. Flowers. Huh. <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. Ah. Oh. How nice. Oh, dude, sign his cast. Hey. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. Mmm. Armor. There you go. Cool. Nice. Now you got like an Iron Man gauntlet or some shit. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, that's weird. I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. <laughs> she thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Oh no. Wait a sec. Calamastia. Hey. Yeah, she but I'm dead. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? Excuse you. It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. Exactly. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Yeah, totally. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. How Holy convenient. Shit. So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Hell yeah. You gotta, gotta save Elamon. Gotta help him right? out. Oh dang. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically <laughs> soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Stupid Wait, dragon, Ken. You can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in hindsight, it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner <laughs> to discover. I was remorseful at first, but like, come on, that's kind of funny. The elf barbarian sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. <laughs> Hello. Uh, greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Uh, uh float <laughs> or whatever. Oh, what do you man. should ask? I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. God Remember damn it. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? Hey, hey, didn't kill him. Turns he out died he of defended fear. their entire clan. And they're oh. after me now. My bad. Need a hand. Sounds like you could use a hand like his from arm. your favorite elf barbarian. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. Suddenly, <laughs> Dragonkin scouts rush in. Clawing you while your backs are turned. Ow! Take four damage. Ah, You're up four. first. That's fine. What well, do actually, I don't know do? what level they're at. That might be pretty serious. Disarm. I disarm them. They're not carrying weapons. 
Then I grab the arm of the nearest dragonkin and rip it from its socket. Yes. <laughs> okay, you now wield a severed <laughs> dragonkin arm. Awesome. What's next? I now whack someone with it. Death with it. Hell yeah. You curl the fingers into a fist and bludgeon them with it, <laughs> swinging the arm with a blind fury until no dragon can remain. Oh man. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. Uh -oh. And this is why I was running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> you sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. Mm. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Ooh. Which way do you go? Feel it out? What is that even? Um. I feel like we'll get trapped if we go to the caves. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent. And very cold. Oh shit! Is this you a haunted notice forest? The stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The oh, okay. stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. Nice a forest idol. I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. Um. Okay, we've kind of got another problem, but <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. No, this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. What, theft? Roll for idle theft. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Indiana Jones Sweat style. Pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. Nice. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol, e. Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Yes, finally. All Suddenly, right. a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Oh, shit. Then, the undead soldier it belongs to sits up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. Hey. <laughs> Your excited shouts have woken him from his slumber. Balls. Boy, I'm going to make you re-dead. The ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army uh, of undead warriors uh, rises from their graves. You have shit. disrupted the undead forest. It is a haunted an forest, goddammit. ancient God damn it. burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Totally worth it. Run. Luckily, yeah, now the you undead can. have a very low running speed. The party flees safely. But the soldiers aren't far behind. You're near the edge of the forest when you run across. Oh shit! Is that me? You're, you're, gonna, you're play? gonna play? Yeah, little brother. Pavel, Aww. the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. Pavel. <laughs> gnome bard. That's what she said. Know any firewalk? No, I don't know any of your shitty music. Wow, rude. Damn. <laughs> That's some big talk from someone who's only three feet tall. <laughs> Size isn't everything. This is awesome. <laughs> Fine, but don't slow us down. Yeah, In with your stubby you've little been legs. Chatting, the army of undead has caught up to oh, you. Oh, shit. The first cohort launches iron spears directly at Elamon. What do you do? Uh. Oh. 
Oh man, that's pretty tempting. <laughs> no, no. I I heroically jump in front of Elamon using my axe to block each attack. Yeah. You block almost <laughs> be nice every attack, but one makes it through. Take six damage. Ow. Hey. Thanks. I got do you, dude. Do you have to be the hero? That's just selfish. You didn't the do anything. The army yeah. is still advancing. What do you do next? <laughs> you know what? He's being a dick. Fuck I it. Trip the bard and run. What? Hey. You stick your foot out. He tries, but Pavel's little legs aren't long enough for him to dodge you. <laughs> he falls the whole three feet to the ground in slow motion. <laughs> As your allies escape, the undead soldiers approach your fallen body. Thirsty for blood after thousands of years, they eagerly rip you oh, limb shit. from limb. Oh, His cries shit. of agony, pitched to a dissonant C sharp, follow you as you flee. I didn't this mean game to... is dark. Oh. You burst forth into the majestic meadow. I feel bad. Horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. Shit. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. Oh, <sighs> crap. We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, uh, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Yeah, you're uh, the magic guy. do have guy. searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever mm. wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. Yeah, but I'm a side character in your story. <sighs> Mikey You're loves the... his character. I I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Yeah. Oh, now Elamon, I have to convince him. Okay. Keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. No. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah. Same diff. That. See, you can do anything. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? Well, the other option is to So you've never used this spell die. before. You've also never died. It's going to be a first time either way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. You, yeah. You're, like, the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. Yeah. No. Calamastia, I won't just kill you. Think of all the distressed villagers out there who need you. If you kill yourself, you're also killing them. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. It's Calamastia. Elamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe. It's got a master. everything. The flames descend it, over the meadow 
bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Oh, Monsters shit. begin screaming in agony. Get him, Elamon. ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned <laughs> away forever. Any last words? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, that seems appropriate. No words, but I do flip all the monsters the double bird. Yeah. Way to keep the moment going. The spell comes to a spectacular climax until all you can see is white. Then all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash damn congratulations alamon you have completed revenge of the dragonkin that's it she's dead and the game's over yep, yep. and alamon's left alone once again it was fun having a companion while it lasted well what if i make a new character wait really you want to keep playing? He sure. didn't really get to play that time. This is gonna be, <laughs> be honest. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. It's a fun time. All right, guys. I uh, I gotta go see if Rachel's alright. Thanks for playing, Chloe. That was one of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. That sounds like life is strange. Hey, wait up a second. One of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. It's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Drew. Sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Later. Aw, oh, Drew, with your character growth and your introspection and all. Oh. I like you guys. Is Rachel awake? Oh. Wow. Okay. Good timing. Steph also texted me. We're still... Oh, okay. That's earlier. That's fine. Well, alright. Let's go see... Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How what? could that be? Hell if I know. Uh, like when Rachel went unconscious? Maybe? Like it's... Okay. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Let's talk to Rose, though. I'm sure she's having a rough time. Hey. Aw. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Aww. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Thanks, Robo Mom. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I she does. can't she called imagine it. what I would do if we lost her. It's gonna be okay. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. <laughs> Just like his daughter. Aww. I just 
keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you Thank meet you, someone who changes everything, you just know. Yeah, you oh. really do. Hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. All right, let's go see our uh, our best friend slash makeout buddy. Ooh, I don't know if y'all heard that. Y'all, I went full southern there. There was like an acorn or something that just fell on the roof. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. Mm. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. Oh. <laughs> My guardian angel. That's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. Can't forget to tell her that. Steph's so cute. Yeah. But not as cute as you. Aw. Shucks. Stop. I mean it. Aww. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. And I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. That's true too. You saved my life. Just don't do that again. <laughs> Play the damsel in distress. <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a psycho with a two by four. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. Mm, yeah, no shit. <laughs> crazy hot. All right, get a fucking room. <laughs> I guess they're kind of already Happy that your home. dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? Aww. I felt completely safe. Like... On Mount Hood. Mm -hmm. Would you do something for me? Yeah. Anything. Sarah. My mom. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. <sighs> but... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I had a feeling. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do. Chloe, I really do. 
Then, of course. You just got stabbed Whatever in the fucking arm trying to do this. I bet my dad. You almost died. Maybe. maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is zero seven two two. To your your dad's office. Zero seven two two. Yeah. My birthday. Aw. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll. I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Hmm. Thank you, Chloe. For. everything. Did she just fall asleep in the middle of the sentence? Uh, what am I saying? She lost a lot of blood. That's reasonable. It was technically the end of the sentence, too. Aww. So I guess we're still... Aww. I can't go any higher than that. <laughs> that was so cute, though. Aww. Anyway, I guess we're still going to find... Oh, hi, Elliot. Uh, uh, going to find Sarah. Hey, Elliot. Hey! Had to finish that sentence. Wait, your hair, it's different. <laughs> That's such a guy thing. It's like, there's something yeah. different. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. <laughs> uh, nice balloon. I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm yeah, a little while actually ago. actually here for Rachel. Well, that what? too. Rachel's here? What happened? Uh... I don't want to get you involved. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well... That's good. Yeah. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Mikey. Well... She probably wants privacy. Oh. Yeah. Right. Of course. Awkward. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if Always. you are, you know. I won't judge. I, sorry, I was distracted by Hot Dog Man. Um. We're, yeah. What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No. No. It's really not. It's just you. Chloe. Take the fucking hint. I'm seriously worried about you. Well... Don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Oh, right? so by worried you so mean what? jealous. So, obviously, something is going on. Yeah, and it's none of your damn business. It's really... It's really not your business, Elliot. Okay, that's fair. Just remember Thank I'm you. here, okay? If you suddenly need something. I really, I don't need Thanks. anything from you. Please just, ugh. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. I know not everybody see hates Elliot around. the way I uh, hate Elliot, but like, ugh. He's such a bother. <laughs> I think it might be because he reminds me of the kind of guy I was in high school, like just awkward and couldn't take a hint, and uh, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe I hate him because he reminds me of the shitty version of me. Whatever. Okay, so we're at their house, and as soon as I get control back and the whole thing's done, 
Hello? We'll wrap this episode up. And... Uh... And continue next time in trying to find Sarah, still, and hopefully not getting stabbed. Well, that was easy. Oh, right, uh, we knew the code, because Rachel told us. Ah, stupid. Also, those are glass doors. I feel like that's not super secure. Oh, right, I hope everybody is... <sighs> Search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Yeah, thanks. All right. I hope everybody's enjoyed this episode. We didn't really do a whole lot. I mean, well, we kind of did. We played played some games and then hung out with Rachel, and that was cute. But next episode, we're going to get into some more bidness. So I hope everybody enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later, my dudes.